the, the crazy cannibal down in Miami? Yeah. yeah. What do you think about that? Shit's think crazy. Zombie yeah. Apocalypse 2K12. <laughs> okay, all right. Hey, let me ask you this. And, and by the way, I called that. I called that from like 2006. The zombie well, apocalypse? That the, the world was going to end in a zombie apocalypse. Okay. All right. Well, I don't just, know. It was just one, I don't know if it's one zombie, man. Come on. Yeah, but you got a virus. Is that what that's it was? How, it was I mean, a virus? That's how it always starts. Okay. Ain't you ever one seen 20, 28 Days Later? I guess yeah. So. Nah. Is that the one with uh, Ed Norton? Mm, yeah, I don't, I don't even think he's in a zombie. He kind of looks like Edward Norton. Hey, well, let me ask you this, guys. So, uh, some like of the reports are yes, saying. Yes, that'd be that. awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. The first guy like who called the cops yeah. on him. Yeah, they're good deals. Thank he was you. just riding by on his Dan. bike and he's like from New York. He's like, I've never seen this kind of crazy stuff in New York. I'm moving back to New York. But he called the cops on it. But now there's reports coming out today that there were more people passing by who did nothing. Messed up, man. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Moral dilemma. If you guys were riding by and you saw some some guy eating another guy's face, would you stop? For sure. Oh, yeah. Would you call yeah, the cops? Really? Sure. Yeah. I wouldn't call I the cops. Would... I would spring into the action. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'd at least try to do I'd something. I'd eat that guy's face. Well, I mean, the guy, I mean, the face. cops I'd had to shoot him three him times. Him. He still wouldn't stop. They had to plug him like six times. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. I'd at least call yeah. Maybe if they had told me that, oh, you shoot him six times and yeah. he wouldn't go down, then I'd be like, all right, I'm calling the police. Right, right, right. Okay. But in the in the spur of the moment, I might just be like just riding on the bike, oh, and then just jump off and right, right, right. see what I could do. I'd, yeah. Maybe I'd end up with an eaten face though. Right. So I don't know how strong. At least call are. the police. Worst case. At least call the police. Okay. Worst case scenario. So let me ask you this, guys: Do you have a standard for right and wrong? Would you yes. say? Yeah. I, I would say yeah. so. And where do you get your standard from right for right and wrong? Parents. I would say. Uh, your parents. My parents. Yeah. 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 Parents. 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 Society. Parents. Yeah. Society. Okay. So, let me ask this, guys. Would you consider yourselves to be good people? Yeah. 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 Let me ask yeah. you. Let me ask you a couple questions to see if that holds true. Have you ever told a lie before? Yeah. Yeah. A lie. And what would you call someone who tells lies? A liar. A liar. A liar? Okay. How about this? Have you ever stolen anything, regardless of value? Downloaded music illegally, yes, yes. taken toys, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Okay. That right, yeah. And, and if you steal, if you take something that doesn't belong to you, what would you, what would you be considered? Thief. A thief. Yeah. Okay. How about this, guys? Um, have you ever? What, how would you define the term adultery? Banging while you're married. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cheating. Yeah, cheating. cheating. Okay. Cheating. How about this though? Jesus took it a step further. Said, "You've heard it said of old, you should not commit adultery. But I say to you, whoever looks upon a woman to lust after her." Has committed adultery with them already in her heart. Yeah. Have y'all ever done that? Had lustful desire so times already. Right? Right? At least twenty yeah. times a day. Okay. We all right. come from Catholic school. So <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, times, yeah. All right. All right. Well, so, so, and I appreciate your honesty, guys. And by your own admission, you know, you'd be lying, thieving, adulterers at heart. Mm -hmm. You still think you're good people? Compared to the other people that are like chew faces, I'd say <laughs> I'd say I'm a pretty good person. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. Um, good well, let me ask you this, right? If and what's your name? Austin. Austin. I'm Carl. Yeah. By the way, oh, Carl. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, Jay. I'm Jay. So you guys, from, are you guys Austin. from Tallahassee Jay. or are you guys Tampa? Sorry, I'm Jay. Fort Tampa. Yeah, Fort Tampa. Tampa. Yeah. Tampa. Okay. Nice to meet you. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So, oh, okay. That's so right. let me ask you this. Right? Right. You guys have um, Newport Richie, but Newport close enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm right. I'm right by Newport. <laughs> let's say okay. Austin. AJ bring takes you over to your house. Takes it to his house. Right. Says, Hey, mom. Let me introduce you to my friend Austin. I just met him at, at uh, <laughs> Seminole Day, and um, so I want you. To, he's a liar, a thief, and an adulterer at heart. But he's really a good person. Would, that guy sounds too good. Would that sound yeah, that's good? Nice. That's not a good intro. <laughs> but, I mean, would your mom and dad buy that he, he's a good Second person chance, if he said man. that? No, because they just never trust my friends. I don't know. I don't know okay. what it is. Your parents okay. I always give someone like a chance to like. Yeah, I mean, chance. I always like give someone like, like you know respect and stuff. I know. Until I know they my do parents. Yeah. They 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 do know I have like a fairly good judge and character. Yeah. So they 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 would figure like, oh, there's got to be something good about this kid. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, let me ask you this. You guys, you guys mentioned you went to Catholic school. And so, if um, I don't know if you recognize it, we were going through some of the Ten Commandments, right? So, if God were to judge us by the Ten Commandments, yeah, would we be innocent or guilty of breaking His Ten Commandments? Guilty. 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 He's guilty. Yeah. And given heaven or hell, where do you think guilty people go? Hell. I think I'd fall into purgatory. I'd fall into purgatory. <laughs> purgatory. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. I'll take that. Purgatory for. A few does it con years, does so. it concern you that if God were to judge you by the Ten Commandments, you would go to hell? Somewhat, yeah, yeah, but I feel it's like I feel like if God, you know, created us in His image, then He should also see 
Yeah, the good that we can do. Okay. Well, the Bible says that there's none good, not one, that none seek after God, right? And so God does know our hearts, and that's, that's the problem, right? God is good, and we are not. That's the worst thing. Hey, have you guys ever been to court for like a traffic violation or anything like that? No. Or yeah, seen it, watch I'm court saying, TV, yes, right? Yeah, Law and Order, saying, that sort yeah. of thing? Okay. Judge Judy. All right, well, Judge let me ask you this, right? Okay. Let's say instead of the Damn. cannibal being um, shot dead, right? Let's say he was brought to justice. He was brought before a court of law, right? And um, went before the judge, and, and the judge says, We've got on video you eating a man's face. Right? <laughs> this doesn't look good. But if, <laughs> awesome. if, if he were to say, <laughs> if you were to say, Well, judge, I'm generally a good person. I just slipped up and ate this guy's face one time. Just drank um, too much. I'm, just, I'm hoping you're going to forgive me. Bad trip. Got a hungry. What would the judge say to that? I mean, is it, if he's a just judge, right? He, he, would, he, he would laugh, right? He would laugh. Yeah. Right? So in that same way, God's not just going to overlook our sins against him. Mm-hmm. He has to punish sin. Otherwise, he's not just. Right? I mean, if, if you saw that he was that the cannibal was going to walk the streets free, would you say that justice had been served, or would you say that justice had not been justice served? Justice not served. Not served. But I mean, at the same time, you can't compare sins like adultery and cheating or and just lying to yeah, chewing someone's face. Know. It's not like I'm going out like stealing, like I'm not like a thief going out stealing cars. And like, right. I mean, if I did like steal something, it's not like I'm okay. going out to like be a thief. And, All right. I well, don't let me lie ask you to like hurt people. Like, let I'm, me ask I you this, like, Joey. If we, if we took a, <laughs> if we took a DVD, if we did a recording of all your secret thoughts, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, let's just say for this month, all okay. right, recorded everything you thought for the past month, and then showed it before the, your graduating class, right? I all the secret like, things you've never told your friends about, you I never feel told a your parents about, on right? right? Now. Yeah. <laughs> if if we did that, and showed it before. Your entire graduating class, would you be embarrassed by that? Parts of it. Parts of it. <laughs> I think it'd be pretty funny sometimes. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know. But think about it. Like, would there be things that you'd be ashamed of, right? Like some things you thought and you're like, mm. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And, and think about it like this, though. God sees our thoughts. God doesn't just know know our, what our actions, but He sees our thoughts, right? He knows everything about us. And so if we try to, it, it, we can't hide anything from Him, right? He's omniscient, He's everywhere. Yeah. And, and he's also just, and he has to punish sin, right? Let me get back to that court example. Let's say, you know, you're, you're guilty of, of breaking the law, right? And, mm-hmm. and Austin, let's say you go and live before the judge, and, um, and, and I'm not going to put cannibalism on you, but let's say, <laughs> let's say you know, you, you, you're speeding through a blind children's home, right? Ooh, the school zone. Nice. And let's say you were speeding it's through there, and oh, by the way, you also nicked a kid, right? Oh, that's not good. So, so Austin, you're standing there before the judge, and the judge says, what do you have to say for yourself? He says, well, the judge, I, I'm a pretty good person. Yeah, but Austin, I've got to punish this. I mean, I can't just forgive them, just, right? Probably aim for a plea bargain. Aim for a plea bargain, okay. Yeah. Well, let's say this. Like, and here's the plea. You either have to pay us $50,000, or you got to do 15 years no, in jail. Do you have the $50,000? Okay. No. okay. So imagine, so imagine just before the judge is about to slam the gavel down and give you, and give you the 15 years in prison, Someone who you've never met before walks into that court, opens up a briefcase for the fifty thousand dollars, and says, puts up on the bench, says, "Judge, I sold everything I have. I've done. I don't know Austin, but I love him, and I want him to, to walk free." Now, the judge, since justice has been served, he can let you go. How would you feel about that guy who did that? Man, yeah, be my bro, man. It'd be your bro. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's Get a, a time show together. That's that's, that's a picture. That's, that's exactly right. That's a picture of what Jesus did for us on the cross, right? Two thousand years ago, two thousand years ago, God the Father sent His Son Jesus Christ to earth. He was fully God, fully man, without sin, right? He was tempted in all ways, but unlike us, He, he never once sinned. And then thirty to thirty-three years, He volunt into His uh, earthly ministry. He voluntarily went to the cross. Right? The Bible says that He who knew no sin became sin for us, so that we, that we might become the righteousness of God through him and when he was on the cross he said it is finished right so there's nothing else that needs to be done right Jesus Christ it, it paid, we were guilty right we broke God's law Jesus Christ paid our fine and what he requires of us in order to walk out of that court ultimately God's court to walk free is that we repent and that we put our trust in him right? have you heard you've heard Repentance before, I'm sure, being an accountant, right? How would you define repentance? 
forgiving, or not forgiving, but saying, like, apologizing pretty much. Well, that's not the biblical term for repentance. Repentance but, is actually, uh, the Greek word is metanoia. It means renewing, your, changing your mind, right? So instead of seeing sin as, well, it's just a little lie, it's just a little little theft, that sort of yeah. thing. I didn't really hurt anyone. It's not like I ate some guy's face off. <laughs> see that it is a sin against Almighty God himself, right? And see that, you know what? I've offended the God who's given me life. I've offended the God who's given me an opportunity to come to Florida State. I've offended the God who has saved me from, from eternity in hell. But if I don't accept what he's given me, right? If I don't receive it, it's worthless to me, right? So repentance is just turning, instead of walking this way in my own evil thoughts, it's turning this way and walking towards Jesus Christ because he's the one who's paid the price for you. And then putting your faith and trust in him and him alone to save you on the day that jumped to come. Just like in a parish, if, if you were in an airplane and the captain came on and said, uh, potential pastors were uh, having a rapid cabin depressurization, please put on your parachutes, we're about to jump out of the airplane. You're not going to just believe that it's a parachute under your seat. You're actually going to put it on because it's the only thing that's going to save you. Right? In that same way, Jesus Christ is the only thing that's going to save you. Going to Catholic Church doesn't make you a, a Christian anymore that going to Chick-fil-A makes you a chicken sandwich. Right? I like it. Right? You got it. You, you have to abide by God's rules. And God's rules says you have to repent. You have to confess your sins. Call it what God calls it. Right? And then put your faith and trust in Him and Him alone. And, and forsake those sins forevermore. Right? You know, if you know it's evil to, to go to a strip, strip club with your buddies, right? You know it's wrong because God has said it's wrong to lust after women, right? Because he's created them just as like he's created you and you're in your And he doesn't want you to violate what God has given you, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Have you ever heard it put that way before? I mean, in kind of like, not in that exact way, but generally, yeah. Okay. I yeah, mean, like, I went to Catholic really? school and I, I do I believe that it really made me a better I mean, person, but like, I'm still not religious, but like, I'm accepting of like a lot more people now. Just like, like I used to be like hated. I used to hate like people who are all religious, but now it just kind of made me like more understand everybody's differences and stuff. So yeah, I, I agree completely. With you. Let me ask you this, AJ. Um, okay, I grew up in the Catholic Church, so mm -hmm. I understand where you're coming from. Um, if you went to Catholic Church all your life, and then God forbid you got hit by a truck. Right? How would you know you're going to heaven? Uh, I wouldn't say I would know for a fact because I don't. I don't really believe that just going to church is really gonna do much. It's really you got to be a good person and and like you said, like believe in Jesus, believe in God, and that's really what's gonna save you, not just going to church. Like, because there's so many people who like you know go to church and then right like you're driving out of the parking lot just screaming you to the guy who cuts you off. Like, right. Like, that's not obviously not being a good Christian. Anymore. Right. Well, AJ, let me let me put it to you like this, because Jesus Jesus himself said, unless you are born again, you will not inherit the kingdom. And being born again is, it's a spiritual birth, right? Just like we were physically born 18 years ago, when y'all were born 18 years ago, 17 years ago, however old you are, you must be reborn from above. That's a spiritual birth, right? No one can right, do that you, except for God alone. No one can give you that gift except for God alone, right? There's nothing that we can do to earn eternal life. There's nothing that we can do to earn any sort of favor before God because all our righteous deeds are as filthy rags of our holy and just God, that's what the Bible says. So I would just urge you to, to consider what we talked about. It, it's not about being a good person because we've all fallen short of the glory of God. Yeah. Right? Going to church is not going to make you a good person. Being accepting of other religions is not going to make you a good person. Because Jesus even said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, that no one comes to the Father but by me. So you can't get to heaven by going to Muhammad. You can't get to heaven by going to Buddha. Right? Jesus Christ is the only one who's alive who can save you. What happens to them? If they've rejected the, the, rejected the, the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross for the forgiveness of their sins, they're going to go to hell. And that's, that's scriptural. I'm not trying, I'm not saying it to be rude, I'm not saying it to be coarse, but that's what the Bible says, right? I mean, the, Jesus even said there's going to be many who, many who will say, Lord, Lord, 
haven't I done great things in your name? Haven't I done great works, prophesied in your name, and cast out demons in your name? And he'll say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And so it doesn't matter what, we, what opinion we have of, of Jesus, but it matters what Jesus has an opinion of us. And if we've rejected him, if we've rejected that sacrifice, if, you know, the Bible says if we've trampled, on, trampled underfoot the blood, of the, the blood of the cross and not esteemed the sacrifice for what it was to cleanse us of, of our sins, then we are in against God. We are against the Lord. And so I would just encourage you guys, you know, you're coming to college, right? Lord willing, you're going to be starting here in August. And one of the things that you're going to be encouraged to do is be a critical thinker and to search out the truth. And I would just encourage you to search for the Bible and to read the Bible. Because what we're saying is right out of the Bible. Yeah. If, it's, if, it, if what I told you today, guys, doesn't line up with what you read in the Bible, then forget you ever met me. Forget I ever handed you a million dollar bill. But if what I'm saying is in the Bible, if what I'm saying lines up with what's in the scriptures, then you have to do, you have to say, maybe he was right. Maybe he wasn't just some crazy fool, right? But guys, God bless you. I hope everything goes well for yeah, you. Yeah, sure, man. Um, talk to you. Jay and I come out here on, nice on campus every nice Wednesday. So nice in the fall, you, we usually right. are out here in this okay. in this union area. So okay. if you guys ever have questions, okay. please stop by and ask us. And, uh, yeah, for sure, man. Best luck to you, all right? All right, you too. Take care. Guys.